Oh, pew. I'm not going in. But I did the geo method. You know where you take the Dawn soap and you take the water softener and you pour it down the toilet and then you add water? Nope. I can still smell it. But I bought the Happy Camper treatment and did that whole thing. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. But I did the thing where you put 10 pounds of ice in there and then you put five gallons of water and then I drove around for 30 minutes. I don't know what else to do. These are all methods for maintaining your black tank, but none of them are gonna work if your black tank hasn't been cleaned at least twice a year. You may have the dreaded poop pyramid. We're gonna fully clean and flush our holding tank on this episode of Roaming with Rosie. Hey Roamers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. We've been on the road full time for two months now, traveling in Rosie, our 2006 Alpha Sia motorhome. And today's episode is for all the RVers who have a traditional toilet and waste system. Right. Specifically, it's about really cleaning your black tank, like getting all the crap out. Not just masking or trying to remove the odors, but getting rid of what's causing the odors. If you use your RV full time like we are, you're going to probably want to do these processes twice a year. And you're going to need to do this where you have full sewer hookups and also fresh, a fresh water source. Let's take a look. Hey Romers, Jamie back at you. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, back flushing my back black tank. Um, so I'm going to use this. Basically what happens is this hooks up to your spout where your black tank and your gray tank are. And then you hook it up to your hoses. And then you hook a water hose, but a separate water hose, not the one you use for fresh water, a hose that you're going to permanently use just for flushing your tanks because you don't want to use that for your, your, for your fresh water. You just don't want to do that. So this is called the Rhino Blast. So basically it's a back flush deal. And then here's your, you can open and close it right here. And then your hose hooks up there. And then this is a back, back flush preventer. So when you screw it on to your hose bib, you don't have any water going back into the hose bib from where we're hooking up towards the black tank. So we don't want that happening. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook this up. Then I'm going to hook my hose up to it. Hook my uh, black tank hose up to it. And first I'm going to drain it. So drain the tank. Then I'm going to turn the water on and flush the inside of that tank out and see if we can get, get that as clean as possible. So what we want to do is we're going to first hook it up to here. like so so it's on there like that and then we want to hook up our sewer hose to it so that's first you just want to make sure that this valve is closed so you don't have anything going back up this direction Ew. so First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this. This is, uh, nothing's going to come out now. This is just a secondary uh, valve. Um, there's a separate valve for the black and a separate valve for the gray, but this valve is just like a secondary after those. Let me just double check and make sure I got everything hooked up correctly down here. Usually I'm in hiding while this is going on, um, but if you notice how far away that sewer cap is, we've had to add two lengths of hose. Um, well, we had uh, two 15-footers and two 10-footers. Um, that wasn't enough, so today I ended up buying another 10-foot extension to be able to reach down there. So that's basically a 30 almost 60 feet of hose. Um, I don't know why they decided to put the sewer hose so far away from the rest of the utilities, but 
is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and let's do the black tank first. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. Ew. Do my great tank. Now what we need to do is we need to hook up our hose from the hose bib to the uh, Rhino Blaster back flush. Um, it comes with a a backflow protector so if for some reason water was to run back towards the hose bib this will not allow any water to go into the fresh water area. This hose here is a fresh water hose but I'm using it for flushing. So I wanted, to, I wanted it to be a different color from the actual hose that I use for our fresh water. So what I use for our fresh water, you can see is that blue hose. And then one I use for flushing is this white hose. So I just wanted to make sure that, you know, when you go to do that, it'd be a good idea to get two separate colors or whatever. That way you can distinguish what hose is going to be used for what. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unhook the fresh water and I'm going to hook this up to the hose bib. And then I'm going to flush the flush this out. So what I'm doing now is I, I hooked up my backflow protector. Um, and again, what this does, it makes it so that water can't come back up into here and pollute the, the, the city water that's coming out of here. It's kind of like the same thing uh, most of your house, household bibs have on that as well. So it makes it so nothing can go backflow and pollute the, the water source. And then what we're doing is we're screwing it into this side here, which is the Rhino backflush. So you can see right here, I hooked my hose up to this. Basically what that's going to do when I turn this valve, it's going to shoot water up in here. Um, I'm going to do my black tank. So I'm going to clean that all out and I'll do the gray tank as well. But right now I'm going to go ahead and do that. When you go to flush, your valve obviously has to be open, but you want to, you want to close the gray water one because we're not flushing that right now. We're flushing the black water. So what I'm going to do now is I have my black open. This is just a secondary valve. So I have that open as well. And then I'm going to turn this valve here and then it's going to shoot water up into my tank. And as you can see, it's coming back out. It's coming back out. So it's shooting up in there and it's hitting around inside my tank and it's cleaning those walls because you got a, a lot of high pressure water shooting up in there. Mm -hmm. And it's going to flush all that out. And I'm going to keep doing that until I see clear water. What I'm going to do now is I'm just shutting it off so I can see. Looks like it's pretty clear. I'm not seeing any other stuff come out. So once that stops running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my gray tank and then after i'm done with that i'm going to take an rv toilet wand i'm going to unhook the hose i'm going to put the hose in the window where the bathroom is and i'm going to put the toilet wand down in there and let that flush it out as well and then see if we get any more stuff coming out so right now i'm going to close my black tank i'm going to open my gray tank okay and then we're going to flush the gray tank as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the water off. Uh, the water's running really clear. So I'm going to go ahead and let that drain out. And I'm going to shut the water off over at the hose bib. And then I'm going to hook the, the water up to this piece of equipment here now this is called the wand the toilet wand i'm going to screw the hose onto here it also has a valve on it and then i'm going to put this down into the tank and i'm going to flush the inside of the tank with this so what i'm going to do now is shut the water off unhook it 
put the hose in here, hook this up and go inside and flush this inside my black tank. I'll probably do it for like 10 or 15 minutes uh, and come outside to see if I'm getting anything and then we'll go from there. Now we have no fresh water coming in and I don't have my pump on so I can draw fresh water from my fresh water tank. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this down and eventually it's going to run, run out of water here. I'm going to put this fish just down inside my tank here like so. And like I said, it has this valve here. So the water is turned on. I'm just going to feed this down in here and I'm going to let let the water, I'm going to kick the water on, and you can hear it down in there. It's basically spinning around, there's a little brass piece, I'll show you after I'm done here. This spins around and has holes in it, water shoots out. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to kind of move it around a little bit, so I know I'm getting kind of in all the corners of the tank. It actually doesn't smell bad anymore right now. With that open, we should be, we, before this, we would have been smelling it. So it's already better. I'm gonna let it sit like that. I'm gonna go check outside. Okay. To see what if we what we got coming out outside. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing some stuff still come out. I'm gonna kind of give you a demonstration to show you what the end of this thing actually does. There's nothing on the end of it. What what this does? This is the part that fish down into the toilet, and then this thing just spins around in there really fast, and it has this brass piece. And you can see there's a hole here, and then on the opposite side, there's a hole there. And it spins and it shoots water out, and it hits all the sides of the inside of your tank. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn the water back on and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when it's actually working. Is it gonna fly all over? It's gonna kind of shoot out in a... Well, I better move. <laughs> We're at a safe distance for this so demonstration. What it's gonna do... Kinda... There we go. Oh! You see what that does? It shoots out like that. It just shoots a, a, a nice heavy stream out and it's hitting all of those sides and cleaning the inside of that tank. So I'm going to unhook this. I'm going to put this in a bucket that I'm going to, a five gallon bucket that I'm going to fill with water and chlorine solution. To sanitize this so when I go to use it next time it's clean now that I hit it with the wand I'm just gonna flush it one more time just to double check make sure we don't have anything else in there so I got that hooked up I got my black tank valve open and the secondary valve open I'm gonna go turn the hose back on and then I'm gonna open this valve up and flush it again to see if we get anything else just to make sure we've cleaned it as best we can so I'm gonna go ahead and open that valve and start flushing that out again and see what we get. Yeah, everything's coming out of there really clear. So like I said, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna take some bleach, I'm gonna add it to this water. I'm gonna put my toilet wand in there and let it sit there and sanitize. That way when I put it away, it's nice and clean. Once we're done with this, um, I'm gonna close everything up out here and then I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to add my chemicals uh, for my toilet for the black tank. So now I'm just going to I'm going to sit this in there so it's uh, submerged into the bleach and water solution. So I'm just going to kind of roll it in there. That way it's in there.
Okay, so now the next thing we need to do, being that we cleaned everything out, we need to get water in our chemicals back in. What we like to use is RV Digest It. So basically it's an enzyme, goes down and breaks up all the toilet paper and all the solids and all that kind of stuff. And it's supposed to help with the smell and all of that. Um, and it, when you initially do it, the first time you're supposed to do four ounces um, you're supposed to put in three to five gallons of fresh water and then four ounces and in every treatment thereafter you're only supposed to do two but being that we just cleaned it all and all that I'm gonna do four ounces again and then add five gallons of water right now I'm gonna pour three gallons of water down the toilet then I'm gonna do four ounces of this when you pour this in you want to have your toilet bowl so you want to keep the the toilet from flushing so you want to add about probably half a gallon of water and then pour the pour your RV digest it in there with that water and then flush the toilet and let it all go down inside and then I'm going to add another two gallons on top of that for a total of five so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in three gallons of fresh water I'll add my RV digest it and then two more gallons of water So that looks about four ounces right there so I'm gonna let that sit there and I'm gonna put like I said three gallons of fresh in when I go to do my fourth gallon I'm gonna put half of that in add this to it and then flush and then put the rest of that fourth gallon in there one gallon so this is my fourth gallon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling up the bowl get it about halfway full and then I add this in with that the RV digest it the four ounces I'm just gonna rinse my measuring cup while I'm here with the other half of water half a gallon of water And you're going to go ahead and flush that. I added the fourth gallon along with my RV Digest It and then rinse this. Um, this stuff is, won't harm anything, it's biodegradable. Um, so I'm going to, this is my last gallon, my fifth gallon. I'm going to pour that down and we'll be, the whole process will be completed. Okay, so that process is completed. Wow, what a difference. There are no bad odors in the RV anymore, which means we can have friends over again. Yep, and we hope this information has helped you freshen up your tanks and once again enjoy traveling around in your RV. And we put links in the description down below for all the products that we use to get this job done. And we hope that our experiences are helping you prepare for your RV life. If you enjoy our videos, please share them with your family and friends. And for the stuff you need for this RV lifestyle, please use our links down below in the description. Now we may receive a small commission on purchases that you make, but it's at no additional cost to you, and it helps to offset the costs of operating this channel. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure and hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. And make sure to leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time, we'll see, see ya. ya.